right guys, so this is going to be a Dollar Tree haul, uh, mainly with um, fall and Halloween items. Today is September 1st, but as you follow, if you, pro if you follow any YouTube hauls that are Dollar Tree, you probably know um, that they put a lot of this stuff out. It's been a couple, maybe two, three weeks now. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and show, we show you what I picked up. So back here, I picked up two of their little wall hangings. One is a witch hat that says Boo. The next one is one of those um, kind of wood-like little hangings that says different Halloween sayings on it. And then moving right next to it, I bought two of these glow-in-the-dark spider webs. And they're just kind of those fussy kind of wire little hangings. And this one has three little glow-in-the-dark spiders. And then that one just has one big spider. And then back there, they put out these neutral baskets by the brand Essentials. And I got two colors. I got one in beige and one in black. The black one is one of those like long black ones and long skinny ones, what I meant to say. And then this one's a little bit, I guess, whiter and a little smaller. Um, but this one actually comes with a lid which is nice, but I honestly don't think people were realizing these came with lids because when I went and picked these up, there was more lids than containers. And as you, could, as you guys can see, they stacked pretty well. So I got those. I organized pretty much a lot of things around my house, pantry, cabinets, closets, you name it. And then I guess moving down here, I finally found some of these wire metal wreath rings. Um, which if you know anything about crafting, um, which I don't personally, but I'm pretty sure these go for a lot more at like Hobby Lobby, um, places like that, because I tried buying one of these last year and when I went to go to Dollar Tree, they were all gone. So if you see these and you're interested in making wreaths for the holidays, I would definitely grab them if you see them. So I grabbed four of these because supposedly I'm going to make some wreaths so I don't know if I'm actually going to have the patience to go through it because I'm not the craftiest person but we shall try and then I grabbed one of these like hard foam um, wreath shaper I don't even know what you call it the sticker fell off I don't even know what I'm making with this probably just maybe wrapping some ribbon around it so that's that and then starting with all the wreath materials that I grabbed, I got up three of these mesh tubes packages, which there is 36 feet in each one. So I grabbed a black, a purple, and an orange. And actually, if you flip it around, there's a little paper inside of the mesh telling you all the materials and step-by-step -step how to make a wreath. And it's supposed to come out looking like that so we shall see if it actually comes out like that or I just kind of give up mid wreath um, and then I picked up a pack of the 45 count um, pipe cleaners just in black and then I picked up also a pack of three steel wire didn't know if I need this for wreath making but I you know picked it up just in case I don't know if I'll need it but we shall see um, and then down here, I picked up four of the ceramic little pumpkins. These three are kind of different shapes, different colors, has kind of that splatter look to them. Really cute. I actually already had this stuff out in my living room. I decorated a couple days ago. Like I said, today is September 1st. And a couple days ago, I started pulling out all my fall stuff and decided to put all my summer stuff away and started decorating. And then this is just an orange with a little green leaf. And then these three are different, um, kind of different shape, but they're more that metallic, more a bronze one, an orange one, and a gold one. And then right next to it, I picked up two of the socks. As you probably know, they put out socks for every season. So I just got one of these with the skulls wearing glasses, and these are just lips and they have vampire teeth. And then finally picked up a pack of these. I My store had not had them. I've seen other people purchase them, but my store had not gotten them yet. And they're these two little mini storage jars. 
that. I don't know if you're going to be able to see or not, but it just says mason jar on it. And I just thought they were really cute. They're probably like the size of a salt and pepper shaker. Um, I honestly don't even know what I'm going to store in them, but I just thought they were really cute. I picked up three packs of, it says 10 count, of these LED lights. I got two in the pumpkin and one in the skulls. And then this is where the madness starts for the wreath making materials. So I grabbed six rolls of burlap ribbon and there's nine feet in each in each roll. Now the burlap I just picked up for obviously to make a wreath, but I wanna make a wreath for like year round. And then I got another six pack, three of each pattern, um, also nine feet wire edge ribbon. And as you probably know, they put out these ribbons according to season. So this is just, this just has like little leaves and pumpkins throughout. And this one just has um, like different sayings, Thanksgiving, bless, blessings, fall together, harvest, so on. And then kind of went mesh crazy because I didn't know what I was going to need for the wreaths. How many times can I say wreath in this video? Um, before I picked up the mesh tube with the actual instructions, my store only had this kind of mesh, which there is Hello. five yards in each Hello. tube. So I got two of the yellow gold one. I got two of the orange. I got four of the black, four of the purple, and then four of this brown kind of gold threading one and then down here I got two of each color two of the purple two black and two orange and they're calling this sparkle tool um, but this was actually one of the materials that this required so like I said I picked up this mesh before I picked up the actual mesh tubing and from what another lady that I watch here on YouTube that follows a lot of um, Dollar Tree stuff, and she's a lot more craftier, she was saying that this stuff is pretty expensive, and she like, oh my, she literally stocked up on this stuff. So I don't know if this was a good deal or not, but according to her, this is like a really, really good deal to find at the Dollar Tree, and it already looks like it already comes cut like pre-cut ready to go versus this I imagine you have to have I don't know if it's gonna work just with scissors or you have to have some special tool to cut this stuff out versus that already basically comes cut and measured and ready to go and like with instructions for people like me that don't craft at all and then I think the last thing I did not mention was down here I got these two little coffin decorative boxes they're just little cardboard decorative boxes and one says do not disturb in black with a bat and it has a dracula inside sleeping with a blanket with different blood types i just thought those were really cute the other coffin is just uh, orange with chains and a lock and the kind of pattern is going throughout the coffin and it just has a mummy holding a cat so i thought they were really cute to put out for halloween like i said sorry about that and like i said that's just going to be for decorative purpose so i think that is all that i have to show uh for my halloween and fall items i am mostly excited like i said for the wreath making hopefully i have the patience to do that like i said because i am not the craftiest person but I bought the materials. I think I have everything I need to make one. So we shall see. So I hope you guys are having a good afternoon and happy September. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.